Tori Hubler is like any other OU student. He's worried about finals, his job after college, and balancing academics with the social life. But one thing that separates Tori from most other OU students was a personal revelation that he had to make in order to be honest with himself, a secret he had been hiding his entire life. I grew up, I was in a public school and elementary school and then starting middle school until I graduated high school, I was in a private Catholic school. Within their religion, it's just normally taught to be against homosexuality and that it, it's not so much an accepted lifestyle. The end of eighth grade, I noticed to find myself attracted to the same sex. And I just always thought, well, maybe this is just a phase that everyone goes through. But I was always too afraid to ask anybody else, so I just always kept it to myself, never said anything. And never said anything to my mom, friends. Uh, I just kind of pushed it to the back shelf and thought that it would go away if I just ignored it. As Tori grew up, he struggled to find himself. It was this big battle between, well, am I gay, am I bi, you know, what, what is the difference for me, you know, do, do both exist, you know, whatever. It was trying to figure out who I was. Once he discovered that he was gay, he made the decision to share this with his family. Um, after I told everyone, you know, there was a series of hugs and my dad was the last one to give me a hug and he walked up to me. And, uh, he said, son, I love you today <clears throat> more than ever because you had the courage to do something that some people go their entire lives with never admitting to themselves. After he came out to his family and his friends, he had to find a way to come out to his fraternity. By simply talking with members, it was a complete difference of feeling at the other house that I had to go up to people and talk to them, whereas here, people would come up to me and try and ask me, you know, who are you, what are you about, what, what do you do? It is not as common in fraternities to be accepting of diversity amongst uh, sexuality. So it was extremely nerve-wracking, worrying how is the house going to respond when they find out about this. I made a point to sit down with a few of the closest people to me and I'd say, you know, this is a, a big deal for me and I, I need to tell you about this. And I would say, you know, I'm gay. And their immediate response would be, okay, what's your point? Uh, kind of uh, to me saying, you know, you're still Tory. Although Tory has support from his family, friends, and his fraternity, not everyone has the same positive coming out experience that he did. Sophomore year, when I lived in-house, I began dating someone and formed a relationship with another young man from a, a fellow fraternity, neighboring fraternity here. And his experience that he always told me was that it was very, it was kind of like the don't ask, don't tell policy. It, you know, don't bring it up, don't talk about it, don't, you know, if you act a certain way amongst gay friends, don't do that here. Now that he has been honest with himself and everyone in his life, he looks forward to his future. I refuse to live to suppress my life again because that already took enough of an emotional toll on me. And it's not fair to myself and it's not fair to anyone else going through the same situation.